Hello, welcome back to Sport on 7. Still to come, we look back at the men's week of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships and we'll be speaking to Djokovic, Federer and Murray. But now, let's talk football. Former Manchester United footballer Lee Sharp now resides here in Dubai and this week he has been talking to me about what it was like playing for the Red Devils and also who could be replacing Sir Alex Ferguson when he decides to retire. But firstly, we spoke about how the likes of Paul Scholes and Ryan Giggs are still going strong. Giggs made his 900th appearance at the weekend. It's incredible. How are those players still going? Uh, I have no idea. I think it's uh, a bit of yoga, ice baths, uh, and a lot of dedication. Uh, now, Giggs has been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, 900 games uh, and just signed another year, I think. Um, he's just phenomenal. And Scholes a different class. And, uh, probably, Scholes probably retired a little bit too early anyway, so great to see him back and performing well. You've uh, obviously uh, out here in Dubai at the moment, but you had a spell in Iceland. Is Dubai just basically the complete opposite <laughs> of your time in Iceland? Uh, well, yeah, Iceland weren't, weren't the best of weathers. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty light though. It was like 20, 22, 23 hours of, of daylight, but it was just a bit chilly. But uh, no, totally different to this place. And whilst you're out here in Dubai, uh, any temptations to get back playing again? Maybe play under Diego Maradona? Uh, I'm not sure the legs, legs are all up for that. I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty old at the moment and uh, spending too much time playing golf. So uh, it's a bit of a slower paced sport these days. Ferguson has said he'd like to do another couple of years, two to three years in charge at United. Who can you see replacing him when he finally does leave? Diego Maradona could be a, a, a maybe a, a one to go for because he's doing pretty well out here in the UAE, maybe coach of the national side soon. Yeah, he's, he's doing a decent job. I'm not sure that uh, he's, he's the sort of character that, that Man United will put in, uh, in charge. Uh, it's, it's, it's a $64 million question. It's, it's such a, tough, it's such a tough, tough job to take over. He's been so successful. He's been there for so long. Uh, the club's been, you know, it's, uh, it's so much security under him. Um, it's going to have to be a big... I mean, I think Mourinho would love the job. Uh, I'm not sure the Mourinho style of play and the teams that he picks will... will uh, and the money he'll want to spend will, will be right for him. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe he's grooming someone a, a little bit younger, you know, a Solskjaer, maybe a, a, a younger ex-player. I don't know. But, uh, Ryan Giggs, maybe. Ryan Giggs, maybe. I'm not sure whether Giggs will go into the coaching side of it at the end of it. Um... But it's going to be a tough one, and then it depends on whether you know, Alex Ferguson steps aside completely or whether he goes upstairs as director of football and they have a young coach come in. Uh, I, I still think he'll probably have an input, so it may, it may even be a younger coach. A quick word on the championship this season. Obviously, it's going to go somewhere in Manchester, United or City. Have United got enough to overturn that gap uh, below City at the moment, or, or is it City's, it's City to lose, but have they got enough to really go for it? Uh, well, I think Man United have, have, have got everybody fit again, which is, which is a good thing. They've come into a rich uh, vein of form, which is, which is just like Man United, especially right at the end of the season, right at the, uh, the best bit of the season. Uh, and City have got a lot to... Uh, they've got a great side, City. They've got strength in depth. They've got some great players. They're great going forward. They're looking strong defensively. Uh, but, it, but it's just the experience when it comes down to it. Uh, the last six or eight games, they're all cup finals. You've got teams fighting for the lives, trying to stay in the league. You've got teams trying to get into Europe. You've got... You know they've got the Man United game in April, the, the, you know, which which could be absolutely the, the decider. So I think it's going to be it's going to be a close one. Man United have been in the runnings before and, and they know what it's like. They've, they've got the experience, so it's going to go it's going to go down to the wire. I think. One of my earliest memories of watching football growing up was your celebrations uh, at the corner flags for United. How did that come about? And those days at United, with all those talented players like the Beckhams and what have you, it must have been such a great time in your career. Uh, it was it was a phenomenal time. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to play for. Uh, a phenomenal football club with, with a phenomenal team. Uh, the likes of Peter Schmeichel and Gary Palace and Steve Bruce, Brian Robson, Roy Keane, and Mark Hughes, Eric Cantona. Uh, just absolutely unbelievable times. And um, I, I, you know, I just I, I loved every minute of it and loved every day of it. And uh, it's just a fantastic place to be. Spending some time here in Dubai, how do you find the football scene here in the UAE? I mean, it's obviously, attendances can be quite low for matches, but there's some big names here now. Obviously, we've mentioned Maradona, but Asamo Jan as well in Alain. Is it a league that can grow and become popular around the world? I think it is. I, I think uh, in comparison to football leagues around, around Europe and around the world, it's, it's pretty new. You know, it's, it's still brand new. So uh, it's important that they get the kids into the, the game early, that, that they get them coached and, and taught the right habits. Uh, and, there's, and there's no reason why, you know, the, the football's huge. It's, it's pretty big out here, so there's no, there's no reason why it can't grow. The population's growing. Uh, the kids get into it young enough. There's no reason why it can't grow. Maybe not on a playing side, but would you like to get involved in the UAE league out here whilst you're here? Yeah, I've been chatting to a couple of people about getting involved in a bit of coaching uh, in, in local stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's something that I'm looking into. 
Lee Sharp there speaking to me whilst presenting the Premier League trophy as part of United's Champions Trophy Tour. Let's turn our attention to tennis then. It's been hard to ignore the tennis vibe in Dubai over the last two weeks. If Federer's win on Saturday uh, has inspired you to get on court, here is Sergio from Tennis 360 Academy with more tips. My name is uh, Sergio Gaioni and I'm part of the Tennis 360 uh, teaching uh, team uh, here at the Maidan Tennis Centre. Okay. Um, and what now I'm going to go through is a little bit more advanced forehand technique. Okay. So we're going to put the child, we're going to now start looking at grips a little bit more. Okay. We're going to put the child in eastern to semi-western, somewhere where they feel comfortable. Okay. We're going to move them away from continental grip. Okay. So now, so we've moved them away a little bit from the continental grip so they can start developing a little bit of spin. Okay, now with the swing, we get them into the ready position again. Okay, they're going to turn. Okay, so they're going to turn and they're going to put their hands up like this, like they're giving someone a high 10. Okay, so they're giving someone a high 10. So now you're developing a loop in their swing. So you're going to get in the ready position, you're going to turn. Okay, they're going to drop the racket down. Okay, they're going to swing through and then finish over the shoulder. Again, bicep nice and high, okay? heel off the ground. Okay? But the difference in this swing is the grip and the high 10. Okay? So, quick demonstration, ready position, I'm turning, dropping, through, and finishing over your shoulder. See you on Centre Court soon. Uh, one man who knows what it's like to be on Centre Court is Roger Federer. Uh, of course, winner of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championships for a record fifth time on Saturday night. We'll hear from him next on Sport on 7.